We can't be intimidated, that is according to NLC Zajairo, after honoring police invitation. Uh, the NLC president, Joe Zajairo, after uh, honoring or after being interrogated by the police on allegations of terrorism financing and other charges, declared that the union will not be intimidated and remains committed to defending Nigerian workers' rights. Ajairo, accompanied by human rights lawyer Femi Falano and other senior NLC officials, emphasized that the allegations against the NLC are baseless and intended to weaken the labor movement. He recounted the challenges faced by labor leaders, expressing that such pressure Pressures are not part of the job, but will not deter their ongoing struggle for workers' welfare. Despite the police investigation, Ajairo assured that the NLC remains united and resolute in its mission, undeterred by external pressures. To discuss this with us, we have Comrade Amechi Asugumi, a former deputy president of NLC and an industrial and labor relations expert. Good morning and welcome to the program, Amechi. Okay. Um, let's just hear what um, the NLC president said before we come back to discussing uh, this issue with you. After he was uh, released from the uh, from by the police after honoring the invitation. And we are back. We've gone there and we are back. I just want to confirm to you that as a citizen, I've gone there and we are back here. So, and you can't do this job we are doing without this type of hazard. <clears throat> it's expected. And for those of you who called me, I told them that this is the hazard <clears throat> of the job. So, comrades, uh, even at the unit level, some of us experience this. You know, as far back as 97, 98, I was telling Falana. We were fully together in the cell, enjoying ourselves during the time of Abacha. So, comrades, but what is important is the circumstances, you know, uh, that took me to that place. Or whatever is the case. Okay, um, that's, that's the hazards of the job, that's according to the NLC president, Joe Ajaro. So, we are still here with uh, Amechi Asugumi, the former deputy president. An NLC and an industrial and labor relations expert. Uh, let's let's know what you feel about the whole development. Um, the NLC uh, president was invited on terrorism charges, and this morning on the headlines we are seeing that no um, no evidence was 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 available. Nothing to show that he really was financing terrorism. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, just like our system, Nigeria will always dispose our weakness. Uh, it's unfortunate because both the Nigerian Labor Congress and the security agency himself is about the integrity of Nigeria. And therefore, uh, one may not be eager to, to publish the weakness in our security system because it's security matter, but it's so unfortunate because I believe that before invitation is extended to any potential suspect, concrete evidence should have been found. The, the, there is no way police, you, you can't even be called a suspect if there is no evidence suggesting your involvement or participation in crime related matters. But whereby you have an open invitation to an institution like the Honorable Congress President, giving the impression to the public that something cogent, because before police will invite you, it means there is at least 50% uh, substantive evidence within their, their reach to at least interrogate the, the said suspect. Unfortunately, in the case of uh, the President of NLC, Joe Ajero, the reverse is the case, because questioning about uh, whether there are documents uh, for any tenant under NSC building is not related to when an individual is accused to have uh, been found wanting in funding terrorism. If after this investigation and nothing is actually found against 
uh, the president or the NSC as a body. They may also charge the, the IG, the Nigeria police, for false accusation. Because in as much you remain a suspect until it's proven, the impression they gave to the public was that they have seen a suspect. And that was not too good for our system because both the Nigeria Liberal Congress and the police are working for the interests of the country. And if anyone is uh, surcharged in terms of integrity, then it affects us as a nation. And we should be careful going forward because there's nothing like doing anything to cajole, intimidate, or make somebody to, to fall short of his responsibility. And then you don't forget, it's an institution charged by constitution. It's a recognized body in Nigeria that have a duty to protect millions of Nigerians who are also uh, members and affiliate of NSC. And whereby you have this kind of uh, uh, mockery uh, petition or allegation, it, it, it brings us down as a nation because people are watching. A lot has happened. The first date that was given for this invitation, it was declined. Getting ready to go there with lawyers, NSC would have spent money in this journey. And then arriving there and being asked questions of uh, papers on the table. He doesn't, he doesn't because papers with NSC is also not evident enough. What is evident enough is involvement of the said person. Even though any document is saying anything around you, how have you uh, discovered my involvement, linking my account to any terrorist or terrorist-related act? Those are, those are evidences that you show that, okay, this is your account number. You move money to people that are involved in this kind of act. How come? What are your deals? What are the links? Nothing of such. And uh, for me, it's quite unfortunate. But I believe lessons in, in this regard is most important. Let them begin to learn. Let everybody also know, including Nigeria Labour Congress, that invitation is not an invitation by any security agent is not a threat. So whenever we are called upon at any given level, everyone as a citizen of this country should honor invitation he further clarified to the public that investigation is not yet approved that you are involved. But is that not uh, a, a soiling of a character, a defamation of character of not just Joe Ajayro, but NLC as a whole? And if uh, the security uh, agencies can do this with impunity, don't you think there should be also something, like you have said, that will make the security agencies learn their lesson well? Because this is not the first time we're seeing people being invited and uh, indicted for things that later on we'll find out that they didn't even have evidence for. And then the people who heard it for the first time and may not have the opportunity to hear it again will just run with the information that is out there that you are a thief or you are a, a terrorist or you are one thing or the other. So how can the police agency uh, or the police learn their lesson well to stop uh, acting with impunity and defaming Nigerians for no just cause? Yes, I think the, the, the part of the procedure is, because in Nigeria, the institutions are not uh, independent. Very unfortunate. Where you have independent institutions, where you have a country that depends on its own system to uh, carry out obligation, mistakes of this nature don't take place. Because whether you like it or not, security is about intelligence. Security is about ability. It's about dictative. So if you cannot dictate that which is substantive to be considered evidence, it means we have problems, technical problems, in terms of our ability to govern the jurisdiction of our security network. Now, it boils down also to Mr. President, because this is a country that every sector depends on the directive of the president. And that's why you see Nigerians, little things like this will call on the president to call particular agency to order, which ought not to be. The IG of police should be independent, in charge of the police arm of this uh, country, and ensure that where officers are misled, misleading the, the public or doing anything that suggest the, 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 the low mentality of, of police, the IG should do everything possible to sanction, even before any party takes them to court. 
for any charge. Let us see the internal action from the Nigerian Labour Congress boss, making Nigerians to know that whatever that would have caused embarrassment didn't come from his uh, directive. Because whether we like it or not, this has happened before. It's happening in local uh, divisions where you have innocent people uh, put in the cell beyond the number of uh, hours that uh, the law permits uh, anyone to be in detention. Go around Nigeria, you see people that are suffering, innocent people who by the pride of police have refused them bail. And I think for Nigerians to know that if Nigeria Labour Congress can be dead in this regard, it tells you what the average and the ordinary people will be suffering in the hand. And I think people should not sleep on their right. Whenever we see situations like this, we should fight it to the logical conclusion, including going back to now summon this same Nigeria police before the law court to tell us the evidence before it, before that public harassment. Because well, you, you cannot take it away from NSC. There was, that was a shock. When you say funding terrorism, it's a grievous offense. And you cannot just come on, on, on national TV to make such public uh, invitation to Nigeria Labour Congress and come back to be looking for papers to present. That, 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 that is unserious of our security uh, agency. And we must take it up beyond now. I think NSC have option B. Whether there is evidence in their hand or not, they must show us to tell Nigeria how did we get here that you can release the invitation even when you have no evidence to do so. What kind of provision are they running? Mm. It's unacceptable. Mm. A lot of people have also said that uh, the NLC uh, president should sue. NLC as a body even should sue uh, the Nigerian police. Maybe we should start from there like you have also uh, said right now. But, you know, you're not just uh, a former deputy president of NLC. You are also an industrial and labor relations expert. So I'm asking you this. What, what can or can the NLC do when it comes to uh, labor in every aspect. Let me give you an instance of what happened. Someone resigned from his appointment. Uh, he didn't like it, obviously, what was going on, and he sent a message. For someone to resign through a text message, that means the tension between uh, boss and an employee must be uh, very uh, bad. So he resigned, and because the boss felt that the language used in the text message was not good enough, he went to the police, and what it was branded was... Uh, willful insult or something like that and he was thrown into jail he stayed in um, the police cell for some time and even when the um, the the boss who took him to police uh, custody uh, said that he was not interested in the case anymore they threw this boy in jail and he spent nine months before an NGO or a lawyer that was doing uh, pro bono work went and released him. Otherwise, he would have been there maybe for years in that place. So when the labor union is fighting for the rights of workers, what kind of workers do they cover? Do they also have or should they have the interest of other workers who may not be as prominent as Joe Ajero or other chieftains of labor party or oh, labor uh, congress? Uh, at heart, or they should just leave everybody to their own, to their own mercy, to the mercy of God. Because something like this that happened, it has happened to someone offering labor. That's what I'm thinking. Shouldn't NLC be stepping into issues like that as well? Yes. Uh, the example you cited is not far from uh, what we experience in the industry. You know, most of the, uh, you call them human resources manager or industrial relations manager, or as the case may be, some managing director have also assumed the functions of uh, managing human capital in the place of work. The answer is, when you are not trained, you cannot train. And therefore, people imagine a human resources manager, whoever the boss may be, company is an institution. And therefore, for any department to determine the decision and policy of a company, it means the top management of such company is in agreement. There is no test message of resignation. Title of resignation is known by law. And therefore, it doesn't matter the excuses given inside the resignation, except whereby it becomes criminal. Industrial relation matter is never the matter that is uh, 
uh, presented before the police. It's only a criminal matter. A worker has been with you up to the time of resignation shouldn't be a suspect in criminal issues. So I wonder the West used on text messages that were around police to come in. They did not just come in. They, all, all, they detained unlawfully for more than a month without charging the same matter to court. If I thought the worker was a criminal, then let the court say so. So that is the country we operate. And uh, like you ask, NSC jurisdiction is limited by law, no doubt. But when we talk about a worker, a worker has unlimited coverage by law to protect him both as a worker, to protect him both as a Nigeria. So what we must continue to do is to advocate for Nigerians, especially the working class, to have this knowledge that they are covered by law and no one is allowed to be intimidated by any employer. So employer of labor that can wake up and sack any worker does so because of the ignorance of the same worker. So workers should be given orientation that their right is actually protected. Even when you are just a worker, you are in Nigeria. And therefore, there are certain things that should not be done to you because the law has said the employer cannot do so. In the case you cited, if such worker should take his own lawyer, because there are lawyers that can actually, that are looking for cases like that, at the end of the day, by the time they, they, they charge this company to pay for assault and the unlawful detention charge on the police, they would have made money for both the litigation costs and uh, side by side, even uh, to mitigate the suffering on the part of the worker. I think uh, we should, the uh, Nigeria Labor Congress have taken cases where workers report their will uh, to, to NSC, not necessarily an affiliate of NSC, but bringing cases to NSC of cases of uh, harassment, cases of uh, victimization, cases of uh, undue uh, advantage on workers. And the NSC in the past uh, have taken up such matters with mutual, and most of them were resolved mutually without escalation. Because first and foremost, they would do a letter to such employer, bringing to their attention the issue before it, and requesting for a meeting to addressing them. Employers knowing fully well that NSC as a body, they know that we not, we not reverse until a solution is given, will therefore find a way to manage such issues. And in most cases, immediately you resolve such matter, canonize that same organization. Because workers suffer some of these things when they participate in working with companies who do not allow unionism. When unions are not organized in certain companies, they treat workers using one against the other. And once that is established among workers, they work in fear. Okay, and, oh, uh, okay. It, let, let, I, be, because we're, we're, we're running out of time, let, let me just know this. Um, now, does the NLC have any mechanism to to evangelize, let me use the word, I like that word, to evangelize the workers that may be ignorant because you said some of them fall into these problems because they are ignorant of their rights and all that. And then the second thing is what are the channels through which workers who may not necessarily be affiliated to NLC like you've also mentioned uh, report cases like this to NLC? Do you have in NLC those kind of channels that these reports can be tabled so that they can help out to do what is needful. Yes, the NSC I know, we have a website and workers can reach out to NSC via their web website. There are, there are emails given directly that you can reach out to organizing department of NSC. Their email is open. You can reach out to NSC through the affiliate unions over 45 to 50 industrial union affiliated to Nigeria Labor Congress. And this is not just limited. Other trade union center, including trade union, uh, TUC, trade union Congress. So whereby you reach out through those affiliate bodies, you can also go to NSC. In most cases, you may not need the NSC. I was the national president of construction workers in Nigeria. And throughout my time, we went further to engaging the informal worker who truly have no coverage in terms of law. And by providing this service for them, they become agents of evangel evangelists to the other 
other co workers that uh, lack protection. Yeah. So I think one of the ways is to reach them through affiliate, another way is to reach NSC through their website, and individually they can make their cases known. You know, when people agitate, it calls for media. And through uh, NSC has also taken some cases via media when people expose what they are going through to the public. Before you know it, it gets to a worker. A worker can facilitate to their leaders, and then it can be attended to. Mm. Oh, that's, it's good to know uh, that at least there is a chance for anybody to get justice through a bigger body uh, that will take up their case. We'd like to thank... And, uh, and again, before we close, they also have the right to request to belong to a trade union. There is no worker in Nigeria that does not have a sector. Every worker has their sector, and the law provides for every sector to have their trade union. And therefore, you are not limited nor bar by any employer threat. So you have right to request to belong to trade union, including agitating to do so, such that the trade union themselves, the affiliate union, cannot come for rescue. Because the best way is when workers are willing to join the trade union, employers refusing you, workers cannot come to, the trade union can come for your rescue. But when you stay put and you are, you are scared, you may lose because you cannot eat your cake and still have it. People must take risk. Thank to you. Get benefit. Thank you very much, MSG, for, for your thoughts this morning. Uh, we'd like to thank you uh, for your time that you have given us. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, Comrade Amechi Asugumi is an industrial and labor relations expert. He's also the former deputy president of NLC. He was talking to us about the fact that Joe Ajero was uh, invited on uh, charges that later we discovered that they were having no basis at all. And Ajero said that the labor union will not be deterred or intimidated by all the antics of the security agencies or any other uh, relevant body. We're taking a break now. When we return, CSOs express concern over continuous detention of protesters. It's next. Stay with us.